Hello Goinkans, I'm your maths teacher. Students, in this module, you will learn about the turning shapes. But before that, we have to learn about directions. So there are two types of directions. One is clockwise direction and another is anti-clockwise direction. Clockwise. If something is turning in the same direction as the hands on a clock, then it is going clockwise. That means clockwise motion proceeds in the same direction as the clock's hand that is from top to the right, then down and then to the left and then back up to the top. So that means clockwise direction is like this way. Now anti-clockwise direction. As the name suggests, anti means opposite clockwise that means anti-clockwise direction is opposite to that of the clockwise direction if something is turning in the opposite direction to the hands on a clock then it is going anti-clockwise it involves a turn to the left then down then to the right and then back up to the top so, anti-clockwise direction is like this way. Let's see some examples. We have Ferris wheel. It's moving in clockwise direction. That is from top to the right, then down, then to the left, then back up to the top. So, like this way. Then we have anti-clockwise. Here, windmill is moving in anti-clockwise direction. That is from top to the left, then down, then right, then back up to the top. That is like this direction. I hope students, both these directions are clear to you. Now, we will learn about turns. Students, there are four types of turns. First is a quarter turn, second is a half turn, third is a three-quarter turn and fourth is a full turn. Let's understand these turns one by one. See, we have an example here. Here a car is resting on a circle which is divided into four equal parts. One, two, three, Four. Each of these parts are known as quarters. So since they are equal in size, we will first look at a quarter turn. That means in this circle we have four quarters. This is one, this is two, this is three and this is four. So let's understand first a quarter turn. When a car moves clockwise direction, it reads, it reads the first line, just like this. It has turned through one of the four parts of the circle. This is a quarter turn. Let's see an example. We have an arrow. We have to give this arrow a quarter turn in a clockwise direction. So it will be like this after turning a quarter. I hope students this is clear to you. One more important thing students. Quarter. One quarter. One quarter is equal to 1 by 4 of the full circle. Now, let's see a half turn. Students, as the car reads the second line, it has turned through two of the four parts of the circle. This is a half turn. So, a half turn results in the object facing is opposite direction to the direction it was originally facing. A car was facing upwards it was originally facing upwards 
but after giving a half a turn, it's now facing downwards. So half turn is equal to two quarters. Half turn is equal to two quarters. That means two divided by four, which is equal to half of the circle. I hope students, this half turn is clear to you. Then we have three quarter turn. This car then reads the third line. And has turned through three of the four parts of the circle. This is a three quarter turn. And three quarter turn is equal to three by four of the full circle. Okay, students. Then the fourth line that car reads is back where it started. Isn't it, students? See here. So this is a full turn and a full turn is equal to four quarters. That means four divided by four, which means one. Now, let's do these questions. In this first emoji, we have to give this a one quarter turn. So let's do it. It will be like this, but in clockwise direction. Direction, that means this. Now in second, we have to give one half turn clockwise. It will be like this. Then in next, we have to give one quarter anti-clockwise. That means this. And in last, we have to give one whole turn anti-clockwise. It will be same as that of the original emoji. I hope students, these turns are clear to you. Now, I hope you can do exercise number two, which is in your book on page number 119 and 120. Thank you very much, students.